and welcome, I'm Ankit Ruteja and you are watching Tech It Out. This week, we tell you about a scam that is targeting Gmail users. We explain what you should do if you lose your phone and we show you EVs that are dominating the Paris Motor Show. Let's get started. On Tech It Out, we keep warning you about online scams that can trick you into sharing sensitive information. In this story, we tell you about an AI scam that could get your Gmail account hacked. Here is how. In today's digital age, data is the new gold. You heard that right. Cyber criminals aren't just after your money anymore. They're coming for your personal data as well. Scammers are constantly evolving their tactics to steal sensitive data. And now, they are using artificial intelligence to target Gmail users and steal their account details. With over 2.5 billion users, Gmail is a prime target for these scams. One such fraud technique that's gaining attention is the super-realistic AI scam call. The new scam tactic has recently tricked even experienced cybersecurity experts. Sam Mitrovich, a cybersecurity expert, almost fell victim to this new scam. How? It all started when he received a fake email claiming to be a Gmail account recovery notification. After denying the request, Mitrovich received a phone call from what appeared to be from Google Sydney. A week later, it was followed by another bogus account recovery request. This time, the call came from a legitimate number, listed on Google's support page. The caller warned Mitrovich that someone had been accessing his account for a week and was downloading data. Though the phone number seemed legitimate, Mitrovich knew that scammers can fake caller IDs. The cybersecurity expert then asked for a confirmation email. While it looked convincing, one of the email addresses in the mail contained a cleverly disguised fake domain name. Mitrovich also noticed that the voice on the call, though sounding human, was too perfect. After hearing the caller repeat the word hello in an unnatural manner, Mitrovich realized it was an AI-generated voice. Simply put, the super-realistic AI scam call tactic uses a combination of fake emails, spoofed phone numbers, and AI-powered voices to trick users into thinking they are communicating with representatives from Google. While there is no guaranteed way to stop these scams, vigilance is key. So what can you do? First things first, stay alert. Google rarely calls users about their accounts, unless you're dealing with Google business profiles. However, if you do get a call claiming to be from Google's tech support, double-check the number using apps like Truecaller. Additionally, make sure to check if there are any spam reports filed for the phone number. And finally, make sure you regularly check your Gmail for any strange activity like suspicious logins from unknown devices and locations. With cyber crooks using sophisticated technologies to fool potential victims, it is important to be aware and stay vigilant when it comes to the online world. Smartphone theft is on the rise. These compact devices packed with a lot of personal and confidential data have become a prime target for criminals. In this story, we explain what you should do if you ever lose your phone. From answering emails to scheduling meetings. From clicking photos to catching up with our friends and family. It wouldn't be wrong to say that our smartphones are our digital lifelines. They house everything from personal photos to sensitive financial data. Therefore, losing a smartphone can be devastating. For a moment, imagine that your mobile phone has gone missing. What will you do next? Who should you connect with? These are some of the questions that often leave people confused. On Tech It Out, we help you navigate that scenario. 
Here's a quick list of what to do before and after your phone is stolen or lost. Let's start with the things every smartphone user should do as a basic practice. Log down your smartphone as much as you can. In other words, enable a password or biometric scan to unlock the device. Secondly, activate the Find My Device feature which is available for both iOS and Android. Thirdly, it's always a good idea to take backups of photos and videos along with contacts, calendar items and other files. Google and Apple offer cloud-based backup services, although the free versions have limited storage space. You can also back up your files to an external hard drive, memory card or laptop. Fourthly, turn off message previews. This prevents thieves trying to break into your accounts from seeing reset or login codes when the phone is locked. Next, take note of your phone's serial number, also known as an IMEI number. In case your phone gets stolen, you can use the IMEI number to report it to your mobile carrier. The carrier will then blacklist the device, preventing it from being misused by miscreants. Last but not least, iPhone users can turn on the stolen device protection feature. Understand that most phone thieves will want to wipe the data off and reset so that they can resell it, but with this feature on, they'll need a face or fingerprint scan to do so. Meanwhile, Android users can opt for a new feature called Theft Detection Lock. It uses AI to lock the phone screen when it detects a motion commonly associated with theft, such as someone snatching your phone out of your hand and racing away on foot or bike. If you're unlucky enough to have your phone stolen, try to stay calm and take the necessary measures. Firstly, notify the police immediately. Secondly, call your insurance company if you have a policy that covers the device. Notify your bank so they can watch out for suspicious transactions and inform your phone company so they can freeze your number and issue a replacement SIM card or eSIM. Thirdly, put the phone in lost mode. This locks the phone and displays a message and contact details on the screen for anyone who finds it. Next, remove your phone from the list of trusted devices that you use to get multi-factor authentication codes. However, make sure you get those codes somewhere else, such as email. There is more. Make sure you erase the phone remotely. This way, you can ensure no data falls into the wrong hands. Most importantly, if the device shows up in an unfamiliar location on the map, do not go to that location by yourself. It is always advisable to notify the police rather than try to get it back yourself. Remember, you are not alone. Many people experience phone theft. However, by taking these actions, you can minimize the impact and keep your data safe. Automakers have launched new models at the Paris Motor Show. Electric vehicles have taken center stage and the focus is on the future of mobility. Here is more. The 90th edition of the Paris Motor Show is underway in the French capital. The event showcases the latest models from the biggest international car makers. This year's Motor Show is all about the latest innovations in electric vehicles, cementing the car industry's commitment to become fully electric by 2035. Driving on stage is BMW's Neue Klasse, a sedan and an SUV. They are designed for a new era of electric mobility. Inside, the Neue Klasse vehicles sport a panoramic vision display, which uses the whole width of the windscreen. This means drivers can keep their eyes on the road and their hands on the steering wheel. BMW brand Mini has presented two all-electric John Cooper Works models for the first time. The Mini John Cooper Works electric sprints from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 5.9 seconds and boasts a range of up to 371 km. The Mini John Cooper Works Aceman accelerates to 100 km per hour in 6.4 seconds and claims a range of up to 355 km. French automobile brand Citroën has unveiled four new cars. This includes two new C4 saloons, a new Ami, 
and a C5 concept SUV. The all-new C4 and C4X saloons will be available with electric and hybrid powertrains, continuing Citroen's drive toward affordable electrification. A concept vehicle, the C5 Aircross is a demonstration of Citroen's vision of the SUV of the future. Citroen has unveiled a 2025 release date for the C5 Aircross. This is AMI. The battery electric quadricycle has an all-new design. The little AMI can be driven by anybody in France over 14 years old. It is restricted to 45 km per hour, making it the perfect first car for teenagers or city dwellers. Kia is trumpeting its electric credentials with its new EV3 SUV. Range anxiety has always been one of the barriers to EV adoption from potential customers. Kia is making a big deal of the EV3's potential range of around 600 km. Fast charging enables the EV3 to be charged from 10% to 80% in just 29 minutes. Kia is seeing the electric segment as one of the most important growth areas in Europe. German automaker Volkswagen has unveiled its latest SUV for the European market, the hybrid Tyron. Volkswagen's new Tyron SUV is the brand's second largest SUV in Europe after the Touareg. Volkswagen says the Tyron's e-hybrid offers superior power delivery and becomes an electric car for everyday driving with an electric range of over 100 km. According to the company, the SUV is also built for long journeys with 850 km between refueling stops. Audi has unveiled its new sporty electric SUV, the Q6 Sportback e-tron, at the Paris Motor Show. This electric SUV has a sleeker and sportier restyling. Audi is promising a range of up to 656 km for its new EV. Audi hopes the new Sportback will offer the spaciousness of an SUV with the more elegant lines of a coupe. Chinese car manufacturer Xpeng has unveiled its new AI-powered electric sedan. Xpeng claims the model is the world's first AI-defined vehicle and is equipped with Xpeng's so-called Eagle Eye Vision solution. It also features Xpeng's XNGP assisted driving feature. But what the Chinese brand is most excited about is growing its name within Europe. Chinese car manufacturer BYD is taking aim at the European market with its latest electric SUV. The Sea Lion 7 is the star of the brand's vehicles at the Paris Motor Show. The electric SUV is positioned as a rival to the Tesla Model Y, among others in this crowded section of the market. Skoda has unveiled its new LROC model. The vehicle is an electric SUV. It has a range of around 370 km. Skoda hopes it will appeal to customers with its functional minimal design. Renault and other brands under its umbrella have unveiled their latest vehicles at the Paris Motor Show. It's the Renault 4e Tech Electric. This is Renault's push to bring electric cars to the mainstream market in Europe. It has a top speed of 150 km per hour and a range of 300 to 400 km, depending on the model. From a flower power themed concept to a vehicle that emulates a Formula One racing car, it's a little glimpse into Renault's automotive future. This year's event comes at a pivotal time. Struggling European automakers need to prove they are still in the game, while Chinese rivals are aiming to get a foothold in a competitive market. It's time to take a look at a robo-artist that has captured the attention of the art world. Powered by AI, it can create original paintings. Watch this story to know more. This is a painting by Doug. It might seem like the work of a human, but the fact is, this is the work of a machine. You heard that right. 
Doug is an AI system created by Sugwon Chung, which stands for Drawing Operations Unit Generation X. The innovative artist has programmed Doug to work alongside her. The aim is to blend human creativity and machine precision. Over time, the AI has learned to replicate Chung's distinct brush strokes. Chung's efforts in this space have earned her a spot on Time's list of the most influential people in AI. However, none of this would be possible without cutting-edge advancements in artificial intelligence. This unique work was part of a new exhibition called Spaces, which showcases artwork by digital artists. Among the featured pieces was Cresting Figure by Emily Scher, created with the help of AI. Another thing that stood out was Rafiq Anadol's collaboration with the indigenous Yawanawa people of the Amazon. This led to the creation of NFT data paintings based on weather patterns. Convincing collectors to invest in digital art has its challenges, but exhibitions like this are closing the gap between digital and physical art. It has the potential to appeal to a wider audience. As AI technology progresses, the question arises, will machines one day replace human artists? The general consensus is that AI is simply another tool in the artist's toolkit, streamlining some aspects of the creative process without replacing human intuition. As AI continues to evolve, the line between human and machine is blurring in the art world. Cutting-edge drones are not only revolutionizing the delivery industry in Dubai, they've also become a valuable tool for law enforcement. We get you more details in this story. Drones are now being used almost everywhere. They help raise alarms in emergency situations. They are adapted for military use. It wouldn't be wrong to say the drone technology is getting innovative. It can now do a lot more things than we can imagine. This is the latest. The Dubai police are all set to expand their drone units as part of the existing drone box system. It's a comprehensive platform that regulates and monitors the use of drones within the city. Each drone box is equipped to launch drones that provide real-time video feeds to the Dubai Police's Unmanned Aerial System Center. The system is designed to enhance emergency response times, reduce traffic congestion and improve overall security in Dubai by providing the command center with vital data. Our system is fully integrated with our incident, ma incident management system. Once a call taker receives an event, let's say for example stating a heavy car accident, uh, this system, system automatically gets the coordinates and the relevant information of this event. Us uh, in the UASC, uh, we deploy a drone. Uh, we try to act as a first responder to allocate the right asset to respond uh, to the event. At the moment, there are six drone boxes in Dubai. They cover a total of 240 square kilometer area. By the end of 2024, the Dubai police are set to expand the number of drone boxes to a total of eight across the city, covering 640 square kilometers. This can lead to an average response time of one minute and 13 seconds in areas near the boxes. Today, uh, using such advanced tools, uh, having six drone boxes covering an av average area of uh, 240 square kilometers, uh, responding to uh, 2,700 incidents with an average response time of one minute and 13, uh, 13 seconds, uh, this is a game changer uh, tool, uh, not only for the police, for any agency who's uh, uh, following in such uh, footsteps. The goal is uh, to, to expand to 640 square kilometers. The ultimate goal of the program is to bring down the emergency response time to two minutes citywide by 2030.
AI gadgets that can chat with you and anticipate your needs were on display at the SeaTech show in Japan. Here is more. The 25th edition of the SeaTech Technology Exhibit recently concluded at Chiba, a city in Japan. This year's theme was AI is our ally. The exhibition showcased a variety of AI-powered products designed to help improve everyday life. Meet Romy, an AI robot developed by Mixi. Romy learns the owner's habits and personality through daily conversations. Not just that, the AI robot can also chat fluently with its users. We want to solve many social problems with this robot especially for the elderly who live in the countryside and feel lonely and insecure. We want Romy to handle such problems. Do you want to go see a movie at a theatre? Sure, it would be fun to chat while watching. Also, you said you've not had a nice meal, so let's bring some food. The company behind the AI robot also unveiled a Romy model equipped with a built-in camera. It allows users to show the robot what they're eating and receive real-time responses. Let's say that a user told Romy that he or she came back from a massage. Romy recalls back the memory that the user said his shoulder was stiff previously, so it can respond including that information. Romy can measure how its memory is matching with what users say at a great level and come up with the best response. While Mixi is developing its own AI model, many other companies are integrating solutions like OpenAI's ChatGPT into their products. Yukai Engineering, a Tokyo-based startup, is one such company. Look at this. This is Boko Emo, a snowman-shaped AI robot developed by Yukai Engineering. Boko Emo greets users with a good morning every day and follows it up with a haiku of the day. With the emergence of OpenAI, we thought we could have deeper interaction with users by utilizing it. So we decided to use it. Not just Yukai, Solos, a US-based smart glasses company is also using ChatGPT to offer real-time language translation through their devices. Meanwhile, Japanese electronics company Sharp is developing an AI model for wearable devices. The aim is to enable users to control home appliances and even receive cooking tips by simply speaking to the device. We have over 1,000 IoT products that can be used with AI. This wearable device called Sound Partner allows users to do many things through communicating with AI, such as controlling other devices at home and coming up with recipes. Well, that's all we have for you in this episode of Tech It Out. We will continue to bring you exciting inventions and updates on the latest gadgets. I will be back soon. Until then, keep watching Beyond World as One. And yes, don't forget to follow us on social media. For now, it's me, Ankit Roteja, signing off.